Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the prayer for grace. Your charity is going to shelter us. Turn your merciful gaze toward us. Draw us into your bosoms. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into the light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace nor make us leave the path of God, but let each minute lead us further into the depths of the darkest mystery until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal life. Lord, open my lips, and, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us sing to the Lord. And shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me. Although they had seen all of my works, for years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Father, and to the Son, and 
and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. <clears throat> Psalms are on page E10. They sing a new song before the throne. Alleluia. Oh, sing a new <coughs> song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell him of the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathen are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. It is our majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord you families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his court. Worship the Lord in his temple, <coughs> O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, <coughs> God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord. For he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They sing a new song before the throne. Alleluia. They proclaimed the righteousness of God, and all people have seen his glory. Alleluia. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raven, his throne to justice and right. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His, his lightnings light, light up the world, the earth trembles at the side. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. <coughs> All you spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord. Most 
most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They proclaim the righteousness of God, and all people have seen his glory. Alleluia. He has made them a kingdom and priests to our God. Alleluia. You shall be named priests of the Lord, ministers of our God, you shall be called. You shall eat the wealth of the nations, and boast of riches from them. Since their shame was double, and disgrace and spittle were their portion, they shall have double inheritance in their land. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. For I, the Lord, love what is right. I hate robbery and injustice. I will give them their recompense faithfully. A lasting covenant I will make with them. Their descendants shall be renowned among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them as a race who the Lord has blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He has made them a kingdom and priests to our God. Alleluia. The Lord seats him with the princes of his own people. Alleluia. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must hear, breaking over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us, and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blasts. Sing praise, praise for us, sing praise. Sing praise to our kings, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. The princes of the people are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God. To God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Lord sees him with the princes of his own people. 
St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. You are strangers and aliens no longer. No, you are fellow citizens of the saints and members of the household of God. You form a building which rises on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is fitted together and takes shape as a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you are being built into this temple to become a dwelling place for God in the Spirit. Mode 7. Salve cruz, fratiosa, sushi bedishi pulum eus, we bebendit in te magis ermeus Christus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised the Lord that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Salve cruz preziosa, sushi bedishi pulum eus, qui bebendit in te magister meus Christus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive 
trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the word, the eternal fruit of his wisdom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, Despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by His light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Epiphanes, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, our Mother Jesus, and our Mother.